Wartime and in the battle to break German codes, scientists at the secret Bletchley Park establishment build a new weapon, the world's first modern computer. Fifty years on, one man set out to rebuild it. So this is Colossus. It took Tony Sale 14 years to piece together Colossus, scouring the country for spare parts from old telephone exchanges. But he was determined to bring back the machine which played a vital role in shortening the war against Hitler. Before Colossus, it was taking them about six to eight weeks to break a message from the German high command, and that was far too long. Colossus suddenly reduced this to six hours. Proudly we present George of the RAF, brainchild of pilot officer Sale. As a young RAF officer in the 1950s, Tony Sale had shown precocious engineering skills, building a robot called George. Later he joined MI5, where his skills were employed to detect Russian spies during the Cold War. In retirement, though, he threw all his energies into the campaign to stop Bletchley Park and its secrets fading into oblivion. Colossus for Tony was the project of all projects. He wanted to rebuild that first programmable electronic computer in many ways to pay proper homage to the people who worked at Bletchley Park and operated it during the war. Last month, when the Queen visited a refurbished Bletchley Park, Colossus and the man who brought it back to life got special attention. Tony Sale, engineer, spy catcher, and above all, the man who made sure Britain did not forget a vital episode in its wartime history.